Welcome back to another vlog. I've missed you guys so, so, so much. Um, of course, you saw my travel vlogs um, in Europe, and I hope you enjoyed those. Um, I tried my hardest to get as much as I could from each place that we went to. Um, we were on a seven-night cruise, so of course, I tried to get as much travel content as I could um, for my viewers but also be mindful of my own time um, and when I say own time like making sure I'm having my family time and enjoying myself and having me time which I was able to have both of those um, on the trip family and me time um, which was very important to me um, because most of the family I haven't seen in a while and some I was meeting for the first time so it was important for me to not always you know pull <laughs> the camera out as much as I wanted to but my family all was like oh you're the one taking the pictures like you have good pictures so you're the one that's going to be taking them so it ended up working out perfect for me to have my camera out and my phone out at the same time because my family wanted me to take all the pictures <laughs> um so it worked out great it was the best way I could have started 2024 and I want to do that every year now like that's like a goal for myself is to start the new year traveling start it in a different place that I've never been to before or that I've been to or you know haven't been to in a while but the goal is to go somewhere new um each time and especially now that I was away for two weeks, basically almost the whole month of January, basically, that's what it felt like. Um, now I want to travel somewhere each month. So stay tuned for that. And if I am able to pull through with all that traveling, um, traveling might be just a tad limited now that I'm back home because I have so much that I'm involved in. Um, that needs my attention home so I don't know if I will be able to do like a week type getaway adventure it will probably most likely be um, just for scheduling purposes in my time I may only be able to do like um, staycations somewhere or in Delaware which I really want to get out of Delaware for my travels um, but if it's I have to, I have to do that because of what my schedule is. And then also I have, um, I'm able, I could do like a, I don't work on Fridays, so I could do like Thursday evening after I'm done teaching, Friday and Saturday, make sure that I'm home Saturday mid-morning afternoon so that I can get myself together because then I have rehearsals on Sunday. And speaking of rehearsals, so when I got back home, I, um got back on a Wednesday I was supposed to get back on a Tuesday at like 10 40 plane was supposed to arrive and then get home by like 11 or so that did not happen our flight got delayed three times and um didn't get home until 2 a.m um the next day so um I kind of was okay with my body has still been adjusting um by the time you guys see this video I'll be like I'll be good I'll be refreshed I'll be back to my normal schedule yeah so back to what I was saying Wednesday got in at 2 a.m. and then I woke up at 8 a.m. and just got back into like a routine um with that being said me doing that I think helped not be as tired but I'm finding myself being I was being lazy like the next few days but I did work out I did work out. I've been back to working out and eating right and not, you know, when you get from traveling and off of a vacation, you kind of just want to stay on a vacation and traveling and you want to stick to how you were eating everything. Like on a cruise, everything was unlimited. It was access to me. I didn't have to pay for most of the stuff. So I was just able to eat, 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 drink, drink, drink. Um, and I didn't drink crazy, um, but I did eat and I loved it. But 
my goal for myself when I was back home was, okay, this is a fresh start for me. This is a great way to bring in the new year. Now, what are we going to do with this new year? So my goal to myself was being disciplined and saying, okay, you're going to work out whether you like it or not. You're going to work out. And then you're also going to um, eat better. So I've been doing like green juices, smoothies with apple cider vinegar after my workout. Um... And then also, um, I tried suja, I think, I hope that's how you pronounce it, the green juice, um, for the first time. And the first one I got, um, it had, what did it have? Like cucumber, it had your typical green smoothie, like green juice ingredients, which I was okay with. I like that one. Um, but then I don't know why I decided to do this to myself, but I got celery juice. Do I like celery? No, I do not. <laughs> but I was like, you know, we're on this healthy kick, you know, we're trying new things. Let's just try it all. Let's just go for it. So I got not one, but two celery juices. Um, and that was probably the worst decision that I could have made for myself because I did not like it at all. Um, but I'm trying to push myself to be healthier, and so that comes with, you know, being healthy. Trying stuff that you may not be used to or may not like, um, and it has an acquired taste, and I don't like celery, so I know for myself to not get that one as much. Obviously, I'll probably try to get it and then add it into, um, like a smoothie that I make maybe, or jazz it up put some honey or you know something like that um but it's not my go-to but there was one green juice that i got from suja and it had mango banana apple cucumber like your good smoothie juice like ingredients that was stellar i should have got more of those which i will um but yeah my goal coming back was um to get back into a good healthy routine which I think I'm doing good at minus the sleeping part I need to push myself to not sleep <laughs> as much as I am um, but I'm definitely proud of myself for staying disciplined and working out um, even if it's just like a quick 30 minute workout and then do abs but those have been killing me because long story short um, Last year, I was working out and I decided to do this crazy incline walk workout that I saw on, it was either YouTube or TikTok from somebody. So I was like, okay, let me test this out with our treadmill. And mind you, our treadmill we've had for like years, years. Um, but it's been doing good. But I think... I killed it with the incline because we don't normally do incline and it got stuck on 12 incline so now every time I get on the treadmill I'm in for a good workout because you doing a three minute not a three minute doing a 3.0 speed or even just two point something speed with that high of an incline is a workout in itself so I like push myself with that like crazy and it's just been stuck like that so even though I've been walking for 30 minutes I'm still getting a good sweat workout because of the incline that it's on it's like I'm going up a hill like for all those minutes that I'm doing the workout so it works out and it pays off for me and I've actually began to notice my waist has been trimming down and which is crazy for me just doing all of those from being home for a couple of days I'm proud of myself because that has it's not like it's been a month or so like imagine my progress in a month you know in February and then the next month after that so if I just stay consistent and I keep doing all of that um I will continue to meet the goals that I have for myself and when I work out and I'm losing weight I notice that it's working for me in my waist and my stomach first so I'm happy 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 <clears throat> excuse me so yeah 
when I got back home, I'm like all over the place with this get ready with me, but just stay with me guys. It's going somewhere. <laughs> and I'm getting ready to go out for my friend's birthday, Devon. She's turning 25. Um, and we're going to Fabrica in Philadelphia. Never been there before, but I saw my friend Christina. She went for her birthday and it looked really fun. So I'm excited. <clears throat> nice little girls night. I know I sound nasally and congested, but I've been fighting that since getting back to the U.S. of A. You know, Europe, I had a little coffee cough, but that went away. And then everybody was, not everybody, but a couple of people did end up getting sick on the trip. My mom was one of them. Um, so I think my body is just trying to fight naturally off, which I'm trying to let it naturally fight off all of this, whatever this is, because I cannot afford to get sick, even though I sound like crazy. It's just all in my nose right now. It's very heavy in my nose. Um, okay. When I got home, I also needed to work out because I was having an audition, um, that Sunday. <coughs> so... I was like, girl, you gotta get, you gotta get with it. You gotta get ready. You've been traveling for two weeks and you've been enjoying yourself and relaxing, being lazy. Well, not being lazy because I did work out a little bit on the trip, but you know what I mean? So I had to get myself back into gear. So we had an audition at Flair Dance Company in Collinswood, New Jersey for um, a hip hop crew and Checkmate's experience, um, they worked with Flair Dance Company for the first time um, this past year, like 2023. Ooh. Um, oopsie daisy. Shuck it too big. Um, and now they're working with Flair for a hip hop crew. So, not gonna lie, I was very scared. Skirt, your girl skirt. And I was hesitant to do it because, um, last, was it last year? I think it was last year, yeah. Um, I did Sparks. And I didn't fully, I wasn't fully able to do Sparks like I wanted to do Sparks because health, my health had other plans. Um, I had two concussions back to back. Um, and at that point in my life, that was my third total concussion that I've ever had. And my doctors that I was going to at the time said, you know, you have to really be careful because this is your third one. If you get another one, it's not going to be good. So, you know, when you hear a doctor say that, you get scared and nervous and you get fearful and you just want to take care of your body. So I really had to, as much as I wanted to do Sparks at that time when we had it, um, I knew I couldn't because my health at that time in my life came first. Obviously, any other time when I was younger, I probably would have pushed through. Um, and then, you know, just went with it. And for the sake of just being on the team and saying, like, okay, I did it. I made it. But, you know, um, my body had other plans and I had to, like, really listen to my body. Which, you know, as a dancer... When you have opportunities, you want to take them because everybody in this entertainment and especially dance industry knows like once something comes along, you might not be able to get that chance again. Um, and hip hop is one of my fave styles to dance to, so I wanted to take full advantage of it. <clears throat> but my health was just not top tier at the time. Um, fast forward to this year, we had the audition the Sunday after I returned, which I only had Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, four days to get my life together for that audition. And I'm proud of myself because I did work out um, three out of those four days, um, which I think kind of helped me a little bit. Um, but audition was crazy. I was nervous. I was scared. Um, I, I had fun. I will say that when I was learning um uh mr b easy i love saying his name like that when i was learning his choreo i was like it brought me back to college days when i was like okay you're just gonna have this you're just gonna do this for fun you know if you make it you make it if not it is what it is but actually with his when i went to go like i obviously did not want to stand in the front which i need to start getting out of my head and doing that to myself 
and pushing myself to the back because I already do a lot of things to the back and I like being behind the scenes, not in front of the scenes sometimes. So I have to get out of my, that, got out of my head and get out of that position this year. But <clears throat> I was scared when we were learning the choreo, but when we went to go do it, I, I was like, I had fun with it. It wasn't fear. I wasn't like, you know, then I think it also helped with the environment that was around. Like a lot of people were like, you know, Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm just going to go and have fun. And that's all I did. It was a challenge. I will definitely say it was a major challenge and I love a good challenge because I haven't danced like that hip hop style since college. And for those that know, I graduated college in 2018 and I have not danced like that, like that, that in years since college. That says a lot. Um, and I'm excited and I knew going into it that he wasn't going to be easy on us. And a couple of people were like, I thought he was going to go. I was like, I'm actually glad he didn't go easy on us because then it sets the tone for where we should be at rehearsals. Like if we make the team and all that stuff and if we work with him, we know what he is expecting and we should know what to expect of ourselves and how to push ourselves. And as a dancer, I always want to grow. Um, so I, I love that he didn't take it easy on us. I was like, my body was like, yo, take it easy. <laughs> my knees were like, take it easy. Everything was so sore after that day, like really, really bad. I could barely walk. Um, but I was very thankful. I'm glad he didn't take it easy. Um, I couldn't even tell you guys how many people, where did the thing go? Yes, I'm being extra, but I got this from Malta, guys. Um, I needed it with makeup, so it helped. And also if I need to bring it to church for anything. But, um, yeah, the audition was fun. And then Ange from the Sixers, she's the coach, and her jazz choreo was so sassy and fire. I loved it so much. And even that, I was, like, nervous because, you know, when you look at the judges or whoever's judging you, their faces, you're like, ooh, was that face to me? Did you not like that? Did you not like me? Like, that's what I was struggling with because I was like in the second almost first line to where the point where I was like looking at the judge's face and we were making eye contact and I was like, oh God, that scared me. But I had fun. And that whole experience was an experience. We saw lots of new faces, which I love seeing new faces come to flare. Um, and then um, old faces. So it was really cool. It was really nice. It was a great experience. I enjoyed myself. My body did not after. My body was hating me after, but it comes with the territory of being a dancer and being 28 years old and being a dancer. And I'm not saying being 28 years old and being a dancer as a bad thing because there are people that don't get their first gig or like something until they're 30 and they're still active. I'm not saying it to say that. I'm just saying like, you know, a lot of stereotypes and stories and things go around this dance world of when you're 26 that's when you stop dancing like I heard that when I was in college for like the longest time and it honestly put a little bit of fear in me and I think that also plays into why I didn't do as much as I wanted to do because I also got too comfortable teaching at the studio I worked at um and didn't push myself outside of that because I was getting close to that 26 year old age and I was like well I'm getting close to it no need to, you know, push myself to audition for anything. I mean, I still was here and there, but I didn't get those things, obviously, that I wanted. But God has a plan, and, you know, his plan right now was for me to be a part of this dance company and this dance crew, and your girl made it. Your girl is a part of FDC and the Checkmate Experience Hip Hop Dance Crew, um, alongside with Checkmates, Flair, and then Ange. I'm so super, super excited. Um... When I say when I found out, I cried. Like, I literally cried. Um, and normally, for things like that, I'm like a tough cookie. I don't cry. I mean, I do cry. I'm an emotional girl. But for, like, auditions, stuff like that, um, I don't normally cry. I'm just more overjoyed and excited. And I showcase that excitement. But I cried like baby tears, y'all. I was like, I was so excited to tell my family. I was like, you can't post this anywhere. You can't say anything. Um, 
because I know my dad be like so quick to share our accomplishments on Facebook. So I had to make sure I told him that. Um, but um, I cried happy tears because I did not think in my head I was killing myself. Um, and this is imposter syndrome at its finest. I was defeating myself after the audition. Um, and we had like, it was the free day of dance at Flair. So I did a lot of the dance classes except one or two because one was at the same time as another and then I don't really tap. So I didn't do that. I went to go eat because I was starving. And I was just like in my head so much about the audition. Like, I don't know if they liked me because we made eye contact once I made eye contact with this one judge. And then they like, their face was like, oh, I don't know if they like, like I was in my head so much y'all. I was just like, I don't, I really didn't know what the outcome would be. Um, and I was scared to find out, like either way, I knew I wanted to be a part of it. Um, obviously because I wouldn't have came to the audition if I didn't want to be a part of it. But, um, yeah, I was like, I don't know if they like me. I don't know if I fit what they want or I'm not going, I'm not like this girl, like obviously imposter syndrome, once again at its finest and comparing yourself in this dance world happens a lot. Um, and I wish it didn't, but it does. And, um, yeah, so when I found out, I was just, like, overjoyed with excitement because I counted myself out when they didn't count me out. They obviously saw something in me. They loved me. Um, and that, hearing that just meant a lot because of how much I knew for myself personally after the audition, how I was, like, counting myself out critiquing myself so much or like not remembering if I did the step right or this and that and that or not you know having tricks like other people have tricks but God puts you in the place where you need to be at the right time I'm a true firm believer of that and I will say that as much as I counted myself out God did not count me out and they did not count me out which I think speaks volumes um for my journey of being a dancer and trying to, you know, dance professionally and do things in this dance industry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so for, if you get nothing out of this video, I hope that you get from this small snippet and portion of me explaining my experience that you guys, you know, whatever you're auditioning for, go for it. Full force. Like, just have fun. And that's what I kept reminding myself to do is have fun and not be so in my head and serious about it. Um, and I think that helped me a lot and also dancing along with my friends, hyping them up. <clears throat> uh, but just knowing that there are people, even if it's just one person or if it's all of them, there are people that are looking at you. They believe in you and they see what you can do and you're going to make it and do things in your own timing and due time when you're supposed to. And it's going to matter when it's supposed to matter. So, you know... Don't compare yourself as hard as it is. Try not to compare yourself. Um, and yeah, that's just my exciting news and little testimony. I was like really shaky and crying and I was like, you did it. I was just like that moment for me. I wish I recorded it because whew, my journey as a dancer is not like everybody else's journey. And I'm glad it's not. Um, but it's just my journey is a lot of belief in myself and continuing to try to believe in myself that I can do it like others and then also a lot of faith my faith my, my journey is a faith walk because I need to have more faith in myself and belief in myself like others do and what they see in me I hope one day I can actually see it myself yeah so I'm not gonna cry but yeah that's just a little bit of a recap of what's been going on i hate talking right now because i sound so nasally um now i need to figure out my hair i need to check the time Ooh, it's almost four o'clock okay um what else is new oh a big thing my conference is coming up in my fashion show and it's almost february so well, it probably is going to be February by the time you guys see this. Um, two months. Ooh, three months. Ooh, God. Scary. 
Um, it's going to be at the University of Delaware. Obviously, in Delaware, where I live. Um, I'm really excited because I've always wanted to do something for my grandmother in her honor. My dad's mom, uh, she had breast cancer. Um, and that journey alone and what I saw her go through and what my whole family had to go through with bringing her in from Baltimore, like, you know, her being, like, living with us, um, and us being her primary, like, caregivers at that time, it was a lot. Um, and I, like, have empathy and sympathize with people that have family members that have gone through breast cancer because I had a family member that went through breast cancer. She was a survivor. And, you know, not many people can say that they have a family member like that, so I'm just very grateful that my grandmother, as strong and tiny as she is, but she's mighty, and she pushed through and she got through it. So I always wanted to do something in her honor for breast cancer and also obviously those that have experienced breast cancer or somebody that, you know, passed away from breast cancer. I want to do something in their honor. So proceeds from the fashion show will be going to the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Um, tickets are already on sale. I don't know if we're going to be adjusting the price or not. Stay tuned for that. But please start going to buy your tickets. I really want people to come. And my word for the year is no fear. And I'm really trying so hard to not be fearful. Um, but imposter syndrome and everything just creeps up so heavily. Um, and I'm trying to not let it. But I don't want to walk into an arena or a space and there be nobody there. That is my biggest fear for this fashion show. This Like a lot is riding on this event. Um my my name <laughs> um my business and what i'm trying to do and i just hope that people that either see this or people that are hesitant of like what is this girl who is she i can do a whole video on my business and why i started and then this fashion show and all that information but i just want people to know that it's just it's about community and people coming together and then also supporting the cause everybody probably either has had a family member that has had breast cancer or a friend or knows somebody that knows somebody that has been affected by breast cancer. So my heart is all the way in this and I want to support breast cancer and give back to them in a beautiful donation, in a beautiful way for this event. And it's not just going to be your typical fashion show. Like before the fashion show, I'm having breast cancer survivors come and do a whole panel and talk about health, their experience, and just have a great time and then the fashion show is obviously going to be top notch i have four amazing designers that i'm excited to work with um yeah so um maybe i'll do like a series of fashion show how to prepare how to get ready type of series i think that would be fun but please buy tickets please 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 it's not just buying tickets to come see your friend or come see the designers the money is going to breast cancer fully 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 going to breast cancer so please Get that ticket so that those proceeds can go to Breast Cancer Foundation so that we can keep finding a cure and just keep helping families that are going through chemo and just help them fight and survive. Um, that's my goal. And also in memory and honor of my grandma. My grandma. Alright, enough of that talk because I'm going to do a video. Alright. Um... Yeah, so exciting things are coming up for me. I'm really, really excited. Um, I knew this coming into this year that this was going to be a banger. This was going to be the year. Um, so I'm excited for the things that are coming and where I'm headed. I'm still going back and forth of where I'm going to be traveling. Like, if I'm moving, I know I need to for myself. Um, in my future career, um, because obviously with dance, you can still do it at the age that you are, no matter what age you are. So I just really want to make my younger self, I know my younger self is proud. If I had to, if I have to look at my younger self, I think she's proud of me for sure. Um, but I just would love to venture out and try auditioning again for a pro team and seeing if I make it but I also do want to work for Disney that's always been my younger Ashley's dream life dream life goal all right I need to figure out what I'm wearing guys my makeup is done it's been done I haven't done the eyes yet hey guys my camera went out 
I don't know what I was saying. Um, but I put clothes on. So I wore this for my birthday two years ago. Um, got it from Shein. And then it's like that in the back. And I'm going to wear these jeans because they hug in the body good. And then also, you know, it comes up to where it's only showing a little bit. Not that I don't mind if it showed more, but it's still winter. And I'm trying to be mindful of that. Um, fragrance. Um, I'm feeling a little, since it's a birthday vibe, feeling a little champagne toast. Um, and then I'm going to do my butterfly necklace. I actually wore the same necklace when I put this on for my birthday. So I'm going to do the same butterfly necklace. I just need to find, I had a purple card, like not cardigan, blazer to go with this and it was like purple pants as well, but I cannot find the blazer. So I might have to do a black blazer. I don't know. I really wish I could find the purple one. I might have to do some digging, some hunting. Oops, that is not on. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Oh, ow. There we go. And just like so. Um, and, you know, what I do. I need to get working on the arms next. In the gym I used to do a lot of arm stuff in the gym and your girl's arms was buff trying to get back to that but yeah this is it I definitely want something on my shoulders because I get cold easily and then also because not insecure but I just need to build up more muscle with my arms and I definitely need to put lotion on <laughs> just realized that uh, but I'm about to do my hair, and then I'll see you guys later. Because it looks like my Camry, my Camry, wow. Looks like my camera is about to die, so I'm going to see you guys later. Bye. Happy birthday, girl.